Today I'm going to show you guys how to personalize Dollar Tree candles this holiday season. So if you guys have not seen, it is trending everywhere, these Christmas Dollar Tree candles. They're amazing. You simply get them like this and we're going to remove the wrapper, which is going to be so easy. And then we're going to apply some adhesive vinyl. So we are actually using this bundle right here. And as you can see, as I'm showing you today, it is only $2.49. But whenever you go to purchase this, it may be back to the $4.98 since we have it linked down below for you guys and this one is one of our top sellers right now and it like I said this thing is trending all over the place so on top of that I'm going to show you guys how to use your Cricut from start to finish I'm going to show you guys how to use Cricut design space in case you guys are beginners so we're going to be fully loaded this one and I'm going to walk you guys all the way through the process Step one, let's go over the supplies you're gonna need for this craft. So you are gonna need the Dollar Tree candles. Now don't feel limited to the Dollar Tree candles. Number one, you may not have a Dollar Tree in your area. You may not have, they may not have some in stock or you may wanna find some that's locally, Walmart, Amazon, wherever you wanna get your candles. I don't want you to feel limited. So what's really cool about this design is you guys can actually size these out to whatever size you guys want, which I'm gonna show you guys as well. So you're going to need a candle the tall ones if you will and then you're simply going to need some adhesive vinyl I'm using the Starcraft permanent in white today I've got a squeegee as well as some transfer tape we're gonna need our blue Cricut mat that's personally what I like to use whenever it comes to paper or adhesive vinyl but you could definitely use your green mat as well I'm using my Cricut Explorer 3 but with this project you guys can even use your older Cricut machines if you want to so that is all of the supplies that we are going to need so let's go ahead and jump in into Cricut Design Space. Jumping right into Cricut Design Space, the very first thing that you're gonna want to do is actually upload your image. So in order to upload, you're simply gonna come down here to where it says upload, and then you're gonna go to where it says upload an image, and you can either drag and drop, which is what I did. So you take the folder from your computer, drag the image and drop it, or you can simply come right here where it says browse, and then you're simply gonna search for that. So for example, I'm gonna go to recent, and here it is, and we're gonna hit open, and it's simply gonna come just like this and then we're simply going to hit upload and there you have it it is so easy to upload our images into Cricut Design Space so let's go ahead and head back to the canvas step two is we need to resize this so in order to figure out our size is you want to go ahead and take a ruler I really like taking like a sewing ruler like this you're going to take your candle here and we're going to figure out about how big we want it to be I want it to be where the wax is actually starting to where it kind of ends there so I'm going to figure out how big we have to work with so I've got I'd like to keep mine around six and a half inches high I don't want to go too far down and then I want to make sure I don't get any wider than probably about two and a half inches so I'm gonna go ahead and start with that height so coming back over here to Cricut Design Space I'm gonna select it and then up here at the top make sure it's locked and then we're gonna come to height and I'm gonna put in 6.5 enter and that is gonna give us 1.72 wide which is perfect so I know it's not gonna go over that 2.5 inches so this guy is completely ready to cut out all we simply have to do is go to make it so I've made sure that my Cricut is on so that way we're gonna be able to find it I'm going to go ahead and choose that we're using the mat. I'm going to hit confirm. I don't need a mirror or anything because we're using adhesive vinyl. And you can see that I need to cut a piece about two and a half by seven inches. So I've went ahead and I actually cut mine three by eight. And so I'm using that blue mat. We're going to go ahead and load it on mat just like that. Make sure it's down nice and well. And then from here, we're gonna go ahead and hit continue. And then we're gonna choose our material. So right now, currently, it's searching to find my machine so that sometimes that um, can take a little bit longer. Um, but honestly, you've seen it wasn't too bad. We're gonna go ahead and choose premium vinyl permanent glossy. Now, if it's not in your favorites, you can simply hit browse and search for it there. We're gonna go ahead and choose that and that's it. We're ready to load it. So I'm gonna make sure there is nothing in my way. We're gonna load this underneath those white feet. Hit that load button. And at this point, the Cricut is gonna take that mat in and out. It's gonna make sure that I've put it a 12 by 12 mat in. If it was to detect something else, it would kick it back out and make us put it back in. So now it's getting ready and we're gonna go ahead and hit the go. So as soon as you get that flashing, that means we're ready to cut it out. 
All right, so in the meantime, while our Cricut is cutting this out, let me go ahead and show you some of the ones that I've already made out of this bundle. The only one that is not actually a part of this bundle is this one right here. This is actually from another bundle. Um, I think it was actually even included in our dollar, ultimate dollar event that we had had. But here on design bundles, there is tons of these. So this is just the one that is currently trending right now, but this one is actually from another bundle. So I'll bring it down here so you guys can see. It's a simple Christmas tree and I did the green vinyl here. I think this is like in moss. Um, it is so, so cute. And then for another tree, so once again, these three are out of this current bundle that I'm showing you. So this is another tree, very simple, but you can see how cute this one turned out as well. So these are just so nice and they look like they're worth so much money. So it's a perfect item to sell, to gift, or even make for yourself um, this holiday season. So here is a blue one. So for this blue one, I did a snowman. So it kind of did its thing with the black vinyl. And then for the red one here, I did a la 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 with red with a black vinyl. You could do that in white as well. So you guys can kind of see that there. Now, depending on your candles, pay attention because some of them can get a little bit funky. So I tried to place it on the side that looked best. So there is that one as well. Now there is green ones. Mine had more of the mint green, uh, but definitely keep in mind there is other colors. So definitely check those out. So now we're gonna go ahead and unload it. We're going to flip it over and then we're gonna go ahead and peel. We're gonna move that guy out of our way and we're gonna get ready to weed this. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and weed now. Just go all the way around and get out all of my pieces. So I'll go ahead and speed it up. All right, so now we just need a piece of transfer tape, but I wanted to show you guys, because I get questions all the time about what transfer tape I'm using. This one is actually by Style Tech. I have it linked down below for you guys. I love it because it does not have a backing. I just simply roll off a piece. You can also use clear contact paper um, from the Dollar Tree, which is that clear stuff that you would put inside to line your drawers. I would use that for years, um, and that's only a buck, you, well, $1.25 now, but you can grab that stuff too at like, Michaels or Walmart and Staples and all kinds of different places, but I do love this. It's affordable and what I like to do So for example, whenever I cut off a big piece, I have extra I'll roll it back on here and save it for a later time So this one actually is going to be perfect for us. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get this guy down Just like that. I'm gonna use my squeegee here to pick it up So we're just gonna go ahead and rub 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 And then I'm just gonna go ahead and trim off the excess and now all you have to do is flip it over and peel. And there we have it. So we have our perfectly designed sticker, if you will, that we're gonna place on here. So I'm gonna set this guy aside over here. You can definitely leave the backing until you're ready to go. So all you have to do with these candles is remove this. Now, different ones. For example, the white ones does not have this, but they do have a sticker on the back. Um, you could use some baby oil or something like that to remove that one. So we're gonna go ahead and set that back. So we're just gonna grab, you're just gonna find out to that starting. And look at this, it comes off so easy. There's no struggle with this guys it is so so easy all right so what I'm going to recommend to you now is I like to find the side that doesn't have so much of that and then so I'm gonna probably start here I'm gonna use my squeegee I'm gonna lay this down to get that perfect placement and I'm gonna use another squeegee to apply it all right so we're gonna go ahead and take our transfer with our adhesive vinyl on it I'm gonna try to center this guy up here just like that. What I like to do is go straight down the middle and then work my way on one side and then the other. These are so easy to make, guys, and they just come out so cute. So $1.25 for these candles, you guys cannot beat it, and they just look like great pieces of a decor that you guys can use for years to come. So I'm gonna go ahead and just rub, rub, rub that in, grab me a corner. I kind of get it at an angle there and peel. And look at that, how amazing is that? And just like that, we have customized our very own Dollar Tree candles. And now these look like we paid $10 for the candles. They are so, so nice. I have seen where people will actually take these candles, melt them down, add in their favorite like essential oil or oils that will make them smell even so much better. Um, you can also melt these down, replace your very own wax in there too. If you make your own candles, um, it's just a 
another great item to sell, make for your own gift to somebody. Um, such an inexpensive gift. So, so cute. Love it. I hope you guys are going to love this. You guys let me know down below if you guys have already snagged these designs, have already made some. If you have, make sure you guys join our Facebook community group if you have not already, because over there you can share your finished projects so we can check them out because I love seeing what you guys are working on. And then you guys can also get inspiration from others as well. And if you guys are already a part of that group, let me know down below, raise your hand, give us a Christmas tree because I'm just so, so excited that you guys are part of that group. We are starting to go live over there as well. So definitely make sure you guys check that out. We've been doing some, ha what we call happy hour where we're doing it in the evenings. So make sure you guys join that group so you guys can come hang out with us over there as well. So I hope you guys have enjoyed these. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one.